So Barbara, which one do you prefer, the real world or the virtual world? The one where my hair looks better. Mm -hmm. Hey there, cool teachers. Thanks for watching. If you're here, press the like button and you could win a prize. We're going to pick somebody every episode and send them something cool. Give it a like. It could be you. All right. Welcome to the Cool Teacher Show. Um, we are going to talk about the virtual world uh, today. In fact, different ways that we can access the virtual world. It's yeah. pretty dang cool. Yeah. When I was younger, we used to go to arcades there that had a VR, a virtual reality like simulator, you could run around and jump over things and shoot things and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, when I was a young and we didn't <laughs> have any of that stuff. They no. had pinball back in the <laughs> days. <laughs> ah, yeah, they did. Just barely. <laughs> yeah. Just barely. Pinball was brand new. Yeah, yeah, it was. And people drove them fancy motor cars. Yeah, All right, they sure um, did. enough of old time. Okay, so uh, let's see. So nowadays, with with virtual reality, first of all, it's pretty inexpensive, and you can do amazing things—not just play games, but take virtual field trips and have experiences that you couldn't have otherwise. It's really, really cool. One of the tools that we are seeing a lot of is this thing. Google Cardboard. And so, what in the world is Google Cardboard well, for our teachers? Well, Chris, it's kind of what you see here. It's cardboard. It's just, it came It came to me, I ordered it in this box here. Mm -hmm. And I had the instructions, the assembly instructions here, which by the way, were pretty bad. Okay. Uh, I couldn't figure <laughs> out how to really put it together. So I just kind of stuck it together. And, and, and it came with this little uh, magnet thing and I had no idea. It didn't even tell you where it was going to go, so I thought I'd put it there. I like it. That's a Doesn't good spot that look for the nice? magnet. I think the magnet is you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be some sort of like a toggle or something, mm. like if you're trying to select things. Oh, maybe but so. But here's where you put your phone in, okay. and you just put your smartphone. Wait, 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 wait. So the, the cardboard is like an adapter for your phone. Right. Okay. So, and it's very inexpensive, and this is what makes this particular product so great for the classroom. Although you still need... <laughs> Ta-da! A $500 smartphone to work with it, although you could use an iPod Touch. Oh, okay. You don't have to use an Android phone, but this happens to be an Android phone. So you use apps that you download, you put your device in this thing, which right. has these fancy glasses. Right, right. I don't know if you can see my eyes. And you pair here. it. There's a, uh, there's a QR code on the side of this somewhere. There, there it, is. it is. And you pair your phone with the QR code, once you figure out from the really bad instructions how to put it together, I think <laughs> how I'm... How do you really feel about I it, I think Barbara? I'm missing, I know, isn't mm. that something? But then you just, you, you you decide what app you're going to use, and there are several apps that you can, okay, show you, us you one. can get. Oh yeah, now you're asking me, the pressure's on. Well, I've got this one app here, and you can see it almost looks like, well, yeah, it looks like a viewfinder when so you look at it. for those it. of you at home, it's basically splitting your screen into two uh, fields that are, are actually um, skewed so that when you have the glasses up next to them, um, it a amplifies it in your eyes and makes it look more like 3D space. But it also uses the accelerometer. Right, yes? so exactly. So you put it okay. in, like, see, because this is the opening for the camera. So you just lay it here okay. like that. So that kind of right. sits on top of there. And then you just squish it in here, I guess. And I mean, Velcro I don't know. It? Okay. Right, Velcro it and then start looking at and it's, it. And so it's using the camera currently. Whoa! And isn't that isn't that that's a space game space or something? Space battle. Yeah, but I couldn't figure out how to use. Does that little magnet thing do anything? I couldn't figure I it know, out. We gotta figure it out. I know. I couldn't figure out how Whoa, to select the different little. Mode. And you can and you can shoot spaceships that's and all sorts have of things. To do something to do with this. And I have no that idea. Cool that's bonus. why the instructions were oh, boy. bad. I, I want to. I want to play this game. Well, you're going to have to wait until you figure it out because we can't waste the viewers' time. No, here. we can't. But it is really, really cool. Yeah. How much did this thing cost, Barbara? Well, the the Google Cardboard mm -hmm. doesn't cost much. I mean, it costs around twenty five to thirty dollars, depending. And you can buy all different kinds. I on thought the it was Google. ten dollars based on our prices right episode. Well, maybe that was a cheap, cheap, mm. cheap one. But I think this one was about twenty dollars or something. Okay. But anyhow, it's made by Knox Labs, and they make a whole bunch of them. In fact, some of the plastic ones that they make Google that Google offers for sale on their mm -hmm. website they look like those old viewfinders you know that yeah. we used was that what they mm -hmm. were called viewfinders yeah. viewmaster viewmasters yep. that's it so it's interesting so basically you get this put it together you put your little device in here and you have all sorts of virtual things now it's just not limited to games the New York Times 
They are starting to film things in a 360 degree virtual mm-hmm. reality. The Wall Street Journal is doing that. And let's see, what else? What other kind of apps? Oh, and of course, you can just search on YouTube and you can look for Google Cardboard apps and, and right. Google Cardboard videos, videos. and mm-hmm. then look at them in your Google Cardboard. And what else was there that it was so. Oh, and then there's some. Um, you can take pictures. You can take your own panoramic pictures using the camera on your phone. Google and then Cardboard view has them. A, and view them. And of course, if you're smart enough, you could take movies. Well, I don't you know can, about that. You can develop apps for it if you're really into that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, what are really the pros and cons of this? Well, think about it. Okay. So you're in the classroom, and, you, and you're a teacher, and you probably think, well, this might be kind of fun for it'd be fun Mm -hmm. it'd be fun for the kids because they can go on virtual reality hold on there's no space for fun in a classroom i know but they can go on virtual reality (laughs) trips yeah and in fact google has this new pioneer program called google expeditions pioneer Mm -hmm. and certain schools are have now signed up for it and are using it and they're using google cardboard in the classroom so kids are going to be on there they feel like they're on mars oh that's really cool investigating the solar system think about like concepts that you really once you're in the 3D immersive world, supposedly you can understand it better. Yeah. I don't know. You don't have to talk me into it. I know. So I it's believe inexpensive. It. It's easy to use. It does require, though, you to ha- have this device, you know, your smartphone or a, an iPhone. But here's the thing. I mean, if you already have this device, then it's a $10, um, you know, or, or $20, depending on which one of these that you buy, fix compared to... Like having the Oculus Rift Like the something. Oculus Rift that I have. Right, mm-hmm. or that new Samsung Gear virtual reality. That's kind yeah. of expensive. And we heard, I heard from our uh, other cool teacher, Joanna Marcotte, mm-hmm. and she said that most students now have their own personal devices, so they could bring them in the classroom, yeah. load those apps on their phones, and use this. So, Very cool. Uh, so it, it, I think that there are ways that you can actually help learning by immersing your student in the learning, helping them to understand complex concepts and isn't it said that you learn more if you actually are in it (laughs) yeah if you experience it you learn so much for sure and what about Uh the dallas cowboys i mean supposedly they were using a virtual reality yes coach but Mm -hmm. from stanford university what happened their season just sucked (laughs) we're not going to comment on that here yeah but it's supposedly but supposedly that virtual reality simulation does help Mm-hmm. train people it does it gives them the opportunity to see things from a, a perspective that is more natural right yeah so, and it as stuff like this continues to develop um but i think kids should still go outside and play yeah i mean the world doesn't have to be totally virtual it can be real too this is true we can mix the two right. for sure so i think it's a good thing i mean awesome google cardboard very cool try it okay hey big thank you uh to our cool teacher who's going to get something this week are you ready who is it Deborah Blackmon Killen. Okay. Um, she is in Huntsville, Alabama, and we love the comments on the Cool Teacher page. Thank you so much. We've got something coming your way. Send us your address so that we don't just yeah. send it randomly to Email someone in to Alabama. Me. Or Facebook it to mm-hmm. me. Or whatever. Yep. Awesome. Is Thank that you. The bell again? Yes, it is. Thank you for joining us. Let's get the heck out of here. Remember to like, to subscribe. If you haven't already liked, you could have won something like uh, Deborah just did. Oh, I gotta play this space okay. battle game. It's time. I'm, you I'm can out. figure out how to get it started. Okay. Remember, oh, I, think, I think I figured it out. Stick around for Cool Teacher <laughs> Extracurricular, where we're gonna talk more about virtual reality and uh, and why it's so important. Specifically, what? Do you think this is going to make marks on my face? We'll see you next time. Bye.